Cal Education at Home. This is Candle Making 101 with Mellow Vibe Candles. I have been your host for the past three series, and this is part four, the last and final episode. Um, it's been so great being able to sit and share my love for um, candle making with you all, and I hope that you've learned enough that will encourage you and keep you um, motivated to go out there and to start creating your own candles. All right, so before we part ways, I wanted to just go over some business tips for all of the new uh, potential chandlers, okay? Um, a great way to get your products out there, of course, number one is social media. You can create uh, free pages on different social media platforms. Make sure that when you're creating your name, uh, to go through and look at some of the other candle brands that are out there so that your name is not too similar to others that um, do already exist. The reason being is because we've had such a tremendous jump in new businesses and so many people are actually taking steps to legally protect their names by filing for trademarks, okay? If you see right behind me, this is my trademark certificate. Um, I'm so excited to be able to own the name Mellow Vibe Candles in the candle um, category. Um, you know, trademarking is done through USPTO, which is the United States Patent and Trademark Office. It is very important when you are determining what name to use for your uh, potential brand that you do a deep search, okay? So you wanna make sure that you are really doing um, some deep digging to make sure that your name is not already in use. Um, that uh, has the potential to lead you into uh, cease and desist. Anyone that already owns a name that you would like to use will absolutely make it difficult for you to do so. So before you spend loads of money on supplies, um, before you get your formula down right, and before you start selling and getting your stuff out there, you want to make sure that the name that you would like to use is available, okay? Also, if you do not own the name of your brand, you may potentially not be able to own your domain name. So keep this in mind, this is so important. Um, uh, we, again, since we've seen such a jump in new businesses since the beginning of the pandemic, a lot of people are taking their hobbies very seriously by going the full long-term way by protecting their intellectual property. Okay, once you have determined what name you'd like to use for your brand, then you want to make sure that you have a legally structured business, okay? Uh, there are numerous ways that you can do so. You can do it on your own, but I always re recommend that you hire someone or go with a firm that can help you uh, get an article of incorporation uh, make sure that you are able to get a DBA for local county levels and state levels, um, and also making sure that you get a seller certificate so that you are able to get out there and join these amazing farmers markets and local vendor events so that you can begin to get your customer traction in, okay? Also, be mindful that candles that you make, any candle anywhere is a fire hazard. So you wanna make sure that you're also looking for small business insurance policies, okay? Small business insurance policies will protect you um, and your craft should anything go wrong in someone's home or space. That is also very important. So you can uh, do a Google search again for small business insurance policies. Some cost you anywhere from $25 a month to $35 a month and, and beyond, but you can get some really good coverage for very cheap. That's very, very, very important. All right, all right. So before we part ways, I would just like to send a note to all of the creators out there and that note would be to always march to the beat of your own drum, always follow the light that is within you, and really shoot for the stars and go for it all, okay? Um, any craft that you pick up, it can just be a hobby. It can be something that you use to um, stay centered and grounded in this chaotic world. 
or it can really turn into something profitable and lucrative for you. Always keep in mind, if you um, are pushing uh, this potential craft as a business, always make it about your people, okay? When you find that customer that loves your product, you wanna make sure that you retain that customer. You wanna make sure that they're coming back to you. And the only way to do so is to provide amazing customer service and to make your customer feel loved and cherished and, um, and let them know that, you, that you're thankful because guess what? They don't have to support you. Always remember, getting a new customer is easy, but keeping them is really the tough part. So you wanna make sure that you've created this amazing product, it's packaged well, you've got your brand name going, and you wanna make sure that the customer is willing and, and excited to come back to shop with you, okay? So always remember, keep your customer happy. So in conclusion, a brief um, a summary of what we've learned so far is the candle industry facts and history, the candle industry size, expected revenue, all of the different types of waxes that you can work with, different dyes and fragrances, all of the different types of candles that you can create, step-by-step -step, uh, process of candle making, some candle making business tips, how to... Um, uh, secure your intellectual property by filing for a trademark and um, how to stay focused. Also, be sure to keep your self care as number one. All right, make sure you're taking care of yourself, eating well, sleeping well, um, finding different ways to love on yourself. Always pour into your cup. You can't pour into any candles or anyone else's cup or lives without fulfilling yourself first. Um, you know, read, challenge yourself, um, always prioritize yourself, always make sure that um, your mental and internal spaces feel colorful. You cannot paint, you cannot create, you cannot do anything without um, your internal color shining bright, okay? So make sure that you're doing that. I want to wish you all the best in your candle making journey. Um, hopefully you would like to follow me. Um, you would like to visit me on social media. Uh, you can also keep up with all of the exciting things that I'm doing. Uh, always look for Mellow Vibe Candles, that's it. There's no S on the vibe. Make sure you look up M-E-L-L-O-W-V-I-B-E -E and the word candles. You're going to read up on so much uh, fun things about me. You can uh, look at some old articles. You can see all of the amazing culture photo photos that we have created over uh, the past couple of months and all of the things that we've done over the, over the years. It is my goal that um, my brand is going to hit shelves and you'll see us in stores. And again, I wish you all the best and thank you to J. Cal uh, for this education at home series. This again is Mellow Vibe Candles with Candle Making 101. Uh, thank you guys for joining me and I wish you all the best. Be the light that you want to see in the world, okay? Shine brightly and make the best candles ever. Good luck to you, bye-bye. Although this is the end of the journey, and I hope that you've really enjoyed um, what I've been able to share with you uh, with JCal Education at Home, I would like to share some of my favorite affirmations. I am a mom and a wife, I have three children, and I find that as I continue to grow in my journey as an entrepreneur, it is very hard some days to um, not give up. So I wanna share with you some of the affirmations in which I share with myself and my children. Number one would be, I am worthy. We are all worthy um, in this walk that we have been blessed with in our lives. Please do not let any circumstance convince you otherwise because yes, you are worthy. Say it with me. I am worthy. Secondly, I am beautiful because you are. Take a look in the mirror, give yourself a smile, give yourself a pat on the back and a big hug because um, look how far you've come. I mean, there are times when we can go back in our personal journeys and I'm sure there are things that made us feel that 
you know, hey, we just aren't beautiful, but guess what? We are, so you are beautiful. I am strong, all right? Hold those muscles up. You can do anything, okay? As long as you remember, you are strong. I am strong. And lastly, I am confident, that's right. Dust your shoulders off. You just sat through an entire series. You learned something new today. I hope that you feel confident to do um, whatever it is that you'd like to do in your lifetimes. Go for it. Shoot for the moon. Um, the sky is not the limit, okay? So you are confident. And in closing, I just want to say thank you for joining us again. And I wish you all the best in your journeys. And if you want to uh, call me for anything, I'm pretty sure our inf my information is going to be down there somewhere. Um, don't hesitate. Reach out. You can find me at Mellow Vibe Candles. That's all you have to type in anywhere and you'll, pull, you'll be able to pull it up and you'll find me right away. So again, best of luck to you all. And thank you, Jamaica Cultural Arts and Learning Center, for the opportunity. It has been a pleasure. Light it up, light it up. Oh, light it up, light it up. Well,